Good morning guys, it's Felicia with Happily Ever After Living. Today is Sunday, December 19th. It is now 8 a.m. I have been so distracted trying to get things done with the kids, but I'm about to start with today's meal prep. So what I'll do first, just one thing so you guys know, sometimes it looks a little crazy, but then there's a calm. So I'm gonna flip the camera around and show you how crazy my kitchen looks right now. And I promise, I promise, it all makes sense. I promise. <laughs> so this is everything that we're starting with. It's a lot. There's two packs. Two packs. It's a different season. It's a lot, but we're gonna get it done. We have a plan. The first thing I've done is I've washed the chicken and I moved it into these Ziploc bags. So next I'm just going to pour in some um, different dressings. I just pulled out whatever we had in the refrigerator and I'll pour them inside of the bags and then put this back in the refrigerator so that it can marinate while I'm doing other things. The next thing I'm doing is heating up some oil so that I can go ahead and um, take care of this ground turkey. I'll go ahead and cook both of these up real quickly. So these are three pound, three pounds each. So what I'll do is I'll cook a total of like one of these, which is three, plus like one pound from here. And I'll cook all of that for like the pasta dishes. And then I'm also gonna do two ounces, I'm sorry, two pounds um, for like taco salads or something like that during the week. Okay, so in this one we just have taco seasoning. and this one we have some fresh oregano, rosemary, garlic and parsley, land salt. Don't forget to put a bag back in the um, trash can, guys. So we've got the taco meat here, almost done. And then this is the, the ground turkey that we'll be using for, um, for the spaghetti as well as the lasagna. Now I'm gonna go ahead and um, separate these two out so that I can make two different um, meat mixtures. I'll show it. So this will be the mixture for the lasagna. This will be the mixture for the spaghetti. I'm actually gonna pull that oregano out. And then again, there's the taco meat. And you guys, hold on, I need to flip the camera around. You guys, so I'm also chatting with one of my friends on Instagram. <laughs> and she just hit 199. Oh my gosh, she just made it to Wonderland. Like she's been on a fitness and a wellness journey too. And she's been so dedicated. I've been so proud of her. Like. She's getting her steps in, she's working out, she's lifting, and my girl just hit, hold on, 199.8. She sent me a picture of the scale. I'm just so excited. If you're watching this video, congratulations. Just know I am so proud of you. Like, oh, that makes me so happy. I just love seeing women just going after the things that they want in life and just, oh, man, girl, I'm so proud of you. I am so happy for you. All right, let's get back to the video. So none of these match. Well, two of them match. But I just buy what's on sale and then go with it. So that's what we're doing. It doesn't matter. Do people even know anyways? I doubt it. So what I'm about to do is pour one of these inside of the lasagna mixture along with, along with this container of ricotta cheese just to kind of thicken it up a little bit. And after that, I'll pour 
um, one into the spaghetti mixture as well, but I'll be sure to show you guys along the way. Okay, so we've got the mixture for the lasagna. And yes, I did use the whole tub, mostly like for flavor for them, but also to thicken it up a bit because there wasn't as much meat because I am divvying it out between multiple meals. Um, and then here's the spaghetti mixture. And then here's the taco meat. So now what I will do from here is go ahead and put this in a different container so that I can use this pot to do the noodles because I'm kind of running a pot running out of pots here. So it's now 8.56 and as I'm waiting for the water to heat up so that I can cook the lasagna, I'm preparing things for my boys so that they can help me out and prepare their lunches for the week. I'll show you what we have. All right, so basically they can prepare their options. What they'll do is write their name and the day of the week um, on their bag and then we'll reuse these again next week. And yeah, so they can just decide what they wanna eat for lunch and then so they'll make their sandwiches either like peanut butter and jelly or ham or turkey i think i, I need to pull out some cheese and then one of these treats or snacks or whatever a piece of fruit some baby carrots i forgot to pull those out and then yeah that'll be their lunches for the week from experience i've also learned to just have them do one at a time because i used to try to have both of them at the table doing it at the same time just to get it done faster but they fight. <laughs> so we're not doing that this morning. We're gonna keep the energy high and I'm just gonna call one at a time, have them do theirs because I still have a lot of cooking left to do. So um, I'll show you guys a little bit of the process if they're okay with being on camera. So I've decided to get the chicken and rice and I'm gonna do beans instead with um, the leftover, what is it called? Carcass? <laughs> the leftover, like the bones and stuff for, from Thanksgiving. So I'll get that used up today. This is what that looks like and I'll add a little bit of water and then put these on the bean setting so difficult so hard put it on the bean setting and let those cook <clears throat> the ranch and baby carrots baby carrots are actually I'm a normal size carrots but I'm gonna cut down the smaller pieces washed and peeled and how do I know that because well let's go <laughs> Oh, see, like it's a camp carrot with a stem. If you can see it, okay. A carrot with a stem. That was a normal carrot. So it says that it needs to cook for one hour and fifteen minutes. It is now nine thirty, so I am going to take the chicken out of the refrigerator. It's had plenty of time to marinate. So I'm just gonna place this into the air fryer and then it will cook for 40, 45 minutes. I'm also going to start layering the lasagna and I do it in such a lazy, lazy way, but it gets the job done, I'll share. So something is going on with the air fryer. I don't know if you guys can see that but I don't have time to figure it out right now, so I'm just gonna throw all the chicken breasts in the oven. I just like to take a small bite.
it just has to bake it for 375. So normally when I used to eat spaghetti, I like mine separate, <laughs> but they don't care. So I'm mixing it all together. And I found some cream cheese from the refrigerator, so I'm gonna add that to it as well. Mm -hmm. Zion opened it. I, I thought you opened it from the top and not this side. <laughs> There we are, and I'm also going to add some more sauce to the mixture. If any of you are still here at this point in the video, I would love it if you would give this video a big thumbs up. Please believe that I did my absolute best to condense four hours of cooking into as short of a video as possible. My goal was to get this around 15 minutes or less. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but I definitely will try. But if you guys can leave me comments down in the comment section and let me know what it is you'd like to see, I would be so happy to share that with you here. For breakfast, they're just going to have bars and yogurt. Garfield's going to be happy. That goes in there, Zion. And some type of fruit. Getting close to putting the chicken alfredo together. One thing that I'll do is just steam these veggies in the microwave because I'll be tossing those in with the alfredo just to add some veggies to the meal. All right, so girl child is awake now, so I am going to have her chop this chicken so that we can use it in the alfredo. Here are the beans. So one hour, 15 minutes. Is that a wishbone? It's a wishbone! This is chicken that we'll just use for the week to toss on salads. All right, wrapping up the Alfredo, I actually threw some seasonings on there and I'm gonna toss the chicken and then the Alfredo sauce and move it to another container and this is what we'll be having for dinner tonight. Well, what they'll be having for dinner. Okay, so I'm going to use this container. Let's do it. This is basically the breakfast that my daughter has uh, each morning. So I just made sure that she had everything she needed in order to complete her own breakfast. So here's what we have for the week. We've got some rice and beans, and this is the lasagna. I didn't cook it. I'll just put this in the um, in the freezer, and then on Thursday. So Thursday morning, I'll take it out of the freezer and put it in the refrigerator, and then later that day, around three or four o'clock, my daughter can just put it in it in the oven. Um, there's like I don't know, 20 eggs or so. Here are all of the boys' lunches. I'll put those in the refrigerator. That is the chicken alfredo for tonight. That is just chicken to toss on like a salad or whatever, whatever, however you wanna eat it. Like chicken, chicken breast with just veggies or chicken breast on a salad, chicken breast and um, steamed vegetables, however we choose to do it. Then that is taco meat, same thing. Just as long as you prepare your proteins in advance and you can kind of figure everything out else out from there. This is just a salad for me. And then also this is the spaghetti for tomorrow night with instructions for my daughter. And there is a little hole right there, but that doesn't bother me because this is actually going in the refrigerator, not the freezer. So she'll remove this from the refrigerator to cook for tomorrow. Now the kitchen is not too bad, but I do need to put some, a few things back in order. Um, but before I do that, I just took my lunch out because I'm starting to get hungry. It's 12.50. I think I finished cooking around 12 and then I just started doing other things. So about four hours to complete this meal prep altogether. So I am about to put everything away. This is spinach for the week. And this is some more salad. Love salad. My husband loves his crystal light. This he'll smoke for me tonight. 
All right, now that everything's at room temperature, so the lasagna is down there. Then the spaghetti for tomorrow is here. She made the spinach and the spring mix salad because those will be used up pretty quickly. And then beans and rice, ground turkey, chicken, eggs, cucumber salad, and then the boys' lunches, I put like Thursday, Friday, and Wednesday in the far back. And then Monday, Tuesday up front. And I think there's one Wednesday. So there we are. All set. And the chicken alfredo is here because we're having this for dinner tonight. Uh, like coffee grinds. <laughs> or my smoothie. Okay. Oh, smoothie. Go. I hope you guys found this video to be helpful. Uh, I just know that by prepping this way, it just makes my week go by so much easier. I don't have to worry about cooking every day. I just did it, got it done. I don't have to worry about doing dishes. I mean, yeah, the dishes that we use, but as far as pots, pans, all that stuff, don't have to worry about that. The boys can clean up behind themselves easily. Girl child, she usually likes smoothies for breakfast. And then for lunch, she'll probably do like leftovers or if she wants a sandwich, she can do that. My husband doesn't eat breakfast, and if he decides he wants to, there's eggs. Um, and for lunch, he's a leftover person too. He's not like a sandwich person very much at all, but he would definitely do leftovers. So that's all we have from this video. I'm actually gonna sit down and try to eat a little bit here. And then at some point I need to go and work out because I haven't done that yet today. All right, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.